So here we are for the Extreme Fighting Championship. I bumped into my uh, old formidable foe, Ben Hood. Ben, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? What are you doing here? Uh, Kieran Grant's fighting tonight, so um, I'm doing his corner. Um, he's a training partner of mine as well, so like really close friends. So uh, when you get to mix kind of a friendship and also being his kind of corner guy, it's like a super special feeling. Mm. So um, yeah, I'm his corner today, and we've got Troy as well from Ronan. So I work quite close with Troy as well, as you know. So got a couple of lads here that I'm supporting as well. So yeah, I can't wait. Well, we've known each other a couple of years now, and everybody knows you fought on a show that I put on in Medvegissi, just a little awesome. show. Awesome. And from that, about 32 guys uh, had a fight. Half of them have gone on to fight, and you're one of them. And you're you're probably the one that's exploded more than any of them. Thank you're you. heading towards the pro ranks, and that's where you want to go. But you know, to jump in and have a boxing match in a cage, is that something that you would ever think about doing? Because I wouldn't like to do it. It's, I've, not, I've not stepped in it, so, but just looking at it, it looks alien. I don't know if you felt the mm. same when you see it. It just mm. doesn't look right, does it? No. Um, but anyone, for me, is probably ideal, because I'm a bit of a mover anyway, mm. so you just can't get trapped in the corner. Yeah. Um, so if it's boxing stand-up, this kind of start is probably I'm perfect. excited to see Troy in there because we yeah, both know, yeah, we've both yeah, moved yeah. around with him down at Ronin. He can move. For a big guy, he can box, he can yeah. move, yeah, 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 and yeah. I think he'll feel at home in there. Oh, he's um, 24 foot, he's massive. The guy, I'm normally sparring with him in about 14 foot ring, mm. so 24 foot cage where there's no corners. Yeah. He'll be moving all day. Uh, Troy's talented and he's got the ability for a heavier guy to have fast hands and fast feet, mm. which is quite unknown. Mm. The only one I can kind of describe is like almost like Fury, really. Mm. Never going to be the most body beautiful, mm. but can really box. Yeah, no, I totally agree. What is in store for you right now? Because as I'm looking at you, you're ready for a fight. You look lean, the way you've got your conditioning right now yeah, for, yeah, for yeah, what yeah, you're getting yeah, yeah, into. Yeah, yeah. You've been with Fahim down at his gym in Exeter. You're mixing it around and you're keeping very busy it, in the boxing ring and out the boxing ring. Yeah, I've got a um, fight next Saturday. So that one is in Liscard. Um, so that's next Saturday, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, and, and the thing with the boxing is, you, you know it yourself, but it's, it's not an in and out of fitness thing, it's a lifestyle. Yeah. So when I kind of cooked down it and said, look, this is what I'm going to do and this is how I'm going to move with it, I knew that it was a 24 7, 3, 6, 5 kind of thing. And from that, I've shedded down the weight, I'm on weight all the time. time training with like super hard people as well so yeah. it, I'm just getting better and better so I just can't wait to put the performance Do you together. feel like you're managing yourself and everything comes off of what you decide or have you started to get a team around you and you sit down and work things out have you got a road map of where you want to be yeah. you know what's happening for you in the immediate future but then you know what's happening for you tomorrow and the next day um, so I've got a plan I've got a plan, but it's a step at a time. You've got a plan. I've got a plan, but it's step at a time, so it's fight by fight. I don't like to look two, three fights ahead and think, oh, you know, I've got X, Y, and Z in the future because you're only as good as your last performance. Yeah. And I've got a guy that wants to beat me on Saturday, so I've got mm. to deal with him. Sure. Um, but in terms of my team, I've got good people around me. I've got Fahim, I've got Ronin's gym, I've got other people that are involved myself. So I've got good people around me, and in terms of where I want to go, I want to go as far as I possibly can. I'm putting in the time. I see it's a full-time job, and um, yeah, as long as I keep winning and enjoying it, then that's the main thing. You seem to have found the good people in the sport because yeah, yeah, yeah. you know the two people that you spoke about, Fahim and uh, Ray and Troy down at Ronin, they're people that I've had dealings with yeah, and, yeah. and I've you know been able to grow in the sport with, and, and you know you've you've found them and they've found you. Yeah, the the good people, Troy, um, Troy, Ray, uh, Fahim, they're all good people. And I think the reason that they get so much publicity from them and so many people go down to see these kind of guys is because what they bring out of you. Um, I travel up to Exeter. I live in Truro myself, so I travel all the way down to Penzance and mm. I travel all the way up to Exeter and sometimes even further afield. So mm. there is closer gyms, mm. but from what I get out of the sessions with these people, I'm willing to travel for it. So it isn't always necessarily the closest people on the circuit that you should train with. Mm. It's the people that you feel you get the best, most out of. Yeah. You were in Mevagissi, but you were traveling all the way down to Penzance to your training. Mm. So mm. That, that all comes from it because of what it is. Yeah, know? you've got to feel comfortable with somebody and, and they've got to support you and lift you. Yeah, and you've, yeah. got to, you've got to leave the negative stuff behind. You've shown me that. 
when we've sparred. You've, uh, you know, we've got really close and you've gone, Clint, what about all them haters? What about all yeah. them people that don't like you? Get in there, get in there. Come on, Clint, you know. It's, it's part of it. And I've told you this with your journey with uh, your media side of things, with your boxing stuff. You get lovers and haters and that's life. Um, it's, it's great to have people that support you and cheering you on, but it's even greater to have people that doubt you and the yeah. ones that talk negative because they're the ones that make you persevere. They're the ones that make you carry on. They're the ones that make you wake up the next day and go, well, you know what, I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm yeah. going to go and do that. Or I, yeah. Torn turns around and says, you can't do that, Clint. You, you're the kind of guy that goes, no, I can and you've gone prove oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know I want to fight on Misfits with a guy from Miami, and everybody's telling me I can't do it. And, you know, I go head-to-head -head with him on Tuesday on an Instagram Live for the first time. Good. And for me, that's uh, the first step of getting him in the ring for Misfits. Half of the battle with anything, whether it be business, boxing, whatever, is just your perseverance or something. So if you really feel that you can do it and you feel that you've got the platform going for it and you're making noise with it because it's all over the place with it and people are talking about it. Mm. So whether it be on the scale that you want it to be or it's growing, that's mm. absolutely fine. It gets yeah. there in the end. But never doubt yourself because what you're doing, other people aren't even touching are they so yeah. you're, you're to a place now yeah. where other people aren't anywhere near so no I, really well I appreciate that thank you so much no thank you I wish you all the best in the sport you know I know you're cornering tonight yeah, as well yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic occasion but you know um, from me to you you know all the best to you mate and I really yeah, mean that cheers appreciate you too and uh, just keep up the channel and every time I fight hopefully when I do uh, turn over professional things go the way I want them to go I'll be seeing you in the crowd as well my friend. I'll see you in Madison Square Gardens and I'll be there to interview you yeah sorry, sorry. God bless. Take care, keep punching. Keep punching. Get in. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, good.